Well, this afternoon, we're expecting an update from the U.S. Coast Guard on the search for a missing submersible which disappeared during the expedition to Titanic. Now, we do know help from Canada has arrived to look for the crew of five. WBC's Louisa Moeller is live in Boston with the newest information about the ongoing rescue efforts. Louisa? Well, Paula, it's been two days and 10,000 square miles of searching for the Titan. That's a submersible owned by Ocean Gate Expeditions that went missing with five people aboard en route to the wreckage of the Titanic. The sub was dropped into the water around 6 a.m. Sunday from a Canadian research vessel called the Polar Prince, some 400 miles off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada. It carried a pilot, a French explorer, a British businessman slash adventurer, and a father and son from a Pakistani business family. Now the journey to the Titanic is about two and a half miles into the deep, taking about two and a half hours. The Polar Prince lost contact with the sub approximately one hour and 45 minutes into the trip and the company says it was carrying 96 hours of oxygen. The clock is ticking on that time more than two days in. The Boston Coast Guard has been leading the charge to find the Titan with planes and radar above the sea and sonar below and the Coast Guard is also seeking equipment to go into the deep. So, uh, in terms of uh, locating the overdue submersible, we have to make sure that we're looking on both uh, the surface using aerial and, and uh, surface vessels, but then expanding into underwater uh, search as well. Right now, our capability is limited to uh, sonar buoys and listening for sounds, um, but uh, you know we're working very hard to uh, increase the capability. That's absolutely part of the overall planning for uh, this search case. Right now we're focused on locating the vessel, but at the same time, if we find this vessel uh, in the water, then we will have to uh, effect some sort of rescue or coordinating, uh, reaching out to uh, different uh, partners within the U.S. Uh, Navy, uh, within the Canadian uh, Armed Forces, and within private industry to understand what uh, underwater rescue capability might be available. Now, experts say many submersibles like this one may have a mass of some kind that they can release in an emergency that would essentially allow it to float up to the surface. So right now, we don't know much. We know the sub could be on the surface. It could be stuck somewhere in the deep, or it could have had a leak, which would have been a lethal situation. We're waiting for a 1 o'clock briefing from the Coast Guard. When we get it, we'll bring it to you. Live in Boston, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. All right, Louisa, thanks so much. And as Louisa mentioned, we are expecting that update from the Coast Guard coming up at 1. You can watch it live on CBS News Boston. You can find that on Pluto TV, WBZ.com, or the WBZ app.